Hi, this is Eric Smith. Time to do another quick look video, and this quick look is my 300th quick look video. I've done 299 before this. This is number 300, and I thought I would do it from the very first verse of the scriptures, Genesis 1:1, and the Word of God reads this way: In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. This verse is so simple. But it's so dynamic and it's so important to the Christian faith. So what I want to do is just do a, a really quick breakdown of this verse. The first part of the verse is, in the beginning. And this prepositional phrase begins the verse and tells you when an action took place. And I want you to notice that it is in the beginning. The word the is a definite article. It's not a beginning, but the absolute beginning. And you may be asking the beginning of what? Pretty clear cut. It's the beginning of all things. It's the beginning of time, space, and material things. So when it says in the beginning, that is the beginning, the beginning of all things. The next thing you see after that is in the beginning, God. This is the subject of the entire verse. God is Elohim, the true and living God. He is the self-existent God. He was before all things and will be after all things. He is eternal and he's infinite. This is the God that's always been. He's self-existent. He was before anything. And after this it says God created. This is the verb action done by the subject of the verse. It shows God as creator from the very beginning. And the beginning of all things. God being self-existent is the same... <clears throat> means he is the first cause of all things. I had to clear my throat. And being self-existent, he is the uncaused cause. No Big Bang Theory. It's not, it's not real. <laughs> no self-existent universe. No aliens. No any of that stuff that um, secular scientists like to come up with. It is God who created. It all begins with God. And the fact he created from nothing shows all, which shows also, God's omnipotence, his all-powerful nature, one of his attributes. And as I've said in other videos, I think I've said, when we say God created from nothing, we have to understand that nothing can rightly be defined theologically as the absence of anything outside of God. Because since God is self-existent, there really wasn't actually nothing. But that's what God created from the absence of anything outside of himself. And what did God create? It says the heavens and the earth. God created our unique planet, this planet that we're living on now. Contrary to proper popular belief, the planet earth is a very unique planet. There's no other planet like ours. I know they look out and they think they see planets that look like earth, but earth is a very unique planet made for human life. God also created the vast universe and the dwelling place for him and his angels. You see the majesty of God's creation when you look at the night sky and see the stars that's too numerous to number. Dear Christian, the first verse of the Bible is important because it connects who God is to what he created. God is creator. And when we look at everything around us, we have to know it all comes from God. We also have to know that Genesis chapter 1, 2, and 3, they're not myths, they're not fairy tales, they're not, you know, crazy ramblings of people in a crazy religion. It's the truth. And because God created everything, God is our master, he's our king, and eventually, he's going to be the judge of sinners. Because all have sinned. Adam and Eve sinned, and that sin is passed on today. And that's why sinners need a Savior. So you can't get away from Jesus Christ being Lord and Savior from this verse and from everything in Genesis chapter 1, 2, and 3. So, this is Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. I just wanted to do a quick look to show you how important it is for us to believe every word of the Bible, even from the beginning. That's why we have wonderful ministries like Answers in Genesis. Because unfortunately, even in some churches, we want to relegate 
chapter 1, 2, and 3 of Genesis to something that's poetry, that's myth, that's silliness. This is God's word, and God is telling you what he did from the very beginning. If you're not going to believe this verse, then how are you going to believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross and rose again for your sins? You're not going to believe that. God is a supernatural, powerful God. He's self-existent. He's infinite. He's eternal. He's omnipotent. He's all those things, and he is creator. As always, if the videos on this channel have encouraged your Christian walk and edified you in any way whatsoever, but you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please don't be snarky. Please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do. And until we do another quick look, when you read your Bibles, remember, you can see what has happened from the very beginning just by going to Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. You must believe that verse and know that it is the foundation of everything going forward. Because if God created the heavens and earth from the very beginning, then you know he's going to create a new heaven and a new earth in the book of Revelation. You know what? As Christians, let's not be ashamed of this truth that God is creator and he created from the beginning. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And God bless.